This is Steve Levin, Project Scientist for the Juno Mission to Jupiter. I want to thank everyone for all the great questions you sent in. And the most liked question was from Valeria Amer. So Valeria, this is for you. You asked if Jupiter's super strong magnetosphere could be affecting the solar weather. The answer is that even though Jupiter's magnetosphere is much bigger than the Sun, Jupiter's so far away from the Sun that its magnetic field probably doesn't have much effect on it. Over the years, there have been some reports of a possible correlation between Jupiter and sunspots on the Sun, but even if Jupiter is having an influence on the solar weather, it's far more likely to be caused by the giant planet's gravity than by its magnetic field. Jupiter's gravitational pull on the Sun is still tiny, but it's a much stronger force than anything its magnetosphere can do from so far away. However, the solar weather definitely does have an effect on Jupiter's magnetosphere. Millions of tiny charged particles stream outward from the Sun all the time. It's a phenomenon we call the solar wind. When the solar wind gets to Jupiter, it pushes on Jupiter's magnetic field, and that dramatically changes the shape of the magnetosphere. Some of the particles get trapped as well, and they contribute to Jupiter's deadly strong radiation belts, which are a hazard for our Juno spacecraft, but also a pretty interesting thing to study. So it was a great question, and thank you. I also want to take a quick moment to answer Henrique Deniz. His very popular question was about how Jupiter looks from the inside. And the answer is, I don't know. In fact, nobody knows. That's one of the big questions Juno's going to try to answer. When we look at Jupiter from here on the Earth, what we're seeing is the tops of the clouds in Jupiter's enormous atmosphere. Underneath those clouds, we don't know how deep those belts and zones and storms and things go. We think that there's a dense core down in the middle somewhere, maybe 3 to 20 times the mass of the Earth, but we don't have any direct evidence to know for sure that it's there. We know that Jupiter's mostly made of hydrogen and helium, but there's a lot we don't know about the composition of all the rest of Jupiter. One of the things we do know, though, is we're pretty sure that deep inside the planet, there's this enormous ocean of liquid metallic hydrogen. And it's the swirling motions of this liquid metal ocean that make Jupiter's enormous magnetic field and generate its magnetosphere. The top of Jupiter's atmosphere, that magnetic field is maybe 20 times as strong as the field here on the Earth. And deep inside the planet, it's got to be even stronger. So when Juno gets to Jupiter, what we're going to do is, one of the things we'll do, is we'll map the magnetic field of Jupiter, and we'll use that map of the magnetic field to figure out about what's going on with the liquid metallic hydrogen deep inside the planet. It's one of the ways Juno's going to investigate the hidden mysteries of Jupiter's interior. So thanks, everyone, for all your terrific questions, and we'll try to answer more of them as time goes on.